Can you find a way around the locked door? Standing by. Trouble ahead. <gasps> so impressive. I feel the dark curse or spell we found already. A curse or a spell, eh? Maybe Seeker could help us with this. Banisher! Oh, the Banisher who died for her novice. Ah, the witch's novice. Ho oh, there, Antea. Are you not surprised to see me? You're a little early, but no, not surprised. On my return, Ceridian told me our poor wee banisher would turn up haunted. <laughs> A haunted banisher. Well, it is funny, isn't it? What was that thing you fought? Thing? Oh, him. He's a bloody nuisance is what he is. Are you badly hurt? Tangled with old Mossad before. A couple of minutes to myself, and I'll be fine. Ceridian knew about Antea's ghost. Obviously. Not very bright, is he? If she knew Antea was around, why did she not tell you to tell me? Ceridian withheld that information from both of us for a good reason. Better trust her plan. Death is a part of life, Banisher. 
You know this better than most. I suppose she didn't want to break your heart again. You tended to him. Thank you. Ugh. Oh, I'm a good novice. I do what I'm told. You look like you need a moment. Can we help? <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. Some of my spirit chasers went out. Ugh. That's how old Saul crossed the hem. The hem? The hem. Where the fabric of the living world meets that of the dead. Ah. The veil between the visible and the invisible. Whatever soothes your soul, Vanisha. Rest. Heal. Tell us how to fix the spirit chasers. The spell is cast. You need only light them. Be careful. Old Mossed won't have gone far. Oh, I'll sit down now. Good luck. Have fun. Can I ask a question? She's in fugue, healing. No questions then. Still not taking questions then. So, I... Where do we do this? We light the spirit chases with flint and steel, I guess, I think. Picking up something spectral nearby. Just me, or I felt it too. Spirit Chaser. Wow. 
Did you feel that? It's close. It's about to shoot. Can I join in too? Is that the sound of a cop stopping his gun? We hide and kiss for you. Here's one more. I'll drink from your skull. Burning spirit chasers repel these bastards, right? That's how witches use them. One more to go. Yep. Useless. Relics of a colony I'll wager, long ago failed. what lurks in this thing. Let me guide us. Oh, these buggers again? Reinforcements! <laughs> That thing Seeker was fighting. You Who do you think he was? Dead. He looked like a soldier. Maybe this was his fort. <laughs> well, 
wasn't I always? Count on it. That one next? That one next. I'll get you too. This should be enough. Yeah. Witchcraft is easy. I don't know what the fuss is about. I'm sure your witch friend would agree. I think I'll just tell her we're done. What wasp crawled up that spectre's arse and stung him angry? A lost battle? A betrayal? Cowardice in the ranks? Who knows? Is he as high? I bet you can't cook. Seeker's vanished. She does that. She's over there. Did I see you talking to a crow just now? Yes and no. All ready to go then? Good. She's waiting for you. A witch is always this obtuse. A banisher's always this ignorant. Come on. We're taking a bow. It'll be fun. No, we're going to New Eden. The nightmare's grip on the world is too strong. The fog is too thick. You cannot enter its stronghold. There's no way back to the meeting house. Not yet. And not without help. We've done fine on our own so far. You're dead. Maybe you're not doing quite as well as you think. You're blunt, but I take your point. We'll talk to Ceridian before we move on. That's better. Follow me. Careful. Don't rock the bow. Have we far to go? How far is far? Don't worry, you'll be safe. Safe? The Mire is home to many angry spirits. <laughs> but my mistress keeps them quiet. <laughs> Dead quiet.
That spectre you fought looked like a harvester. Banishers and their labels. He'll surely be back. So will I. The veil seems thinner here. Always has been. We call them the Maya Marshes, but the nearby tribes call it the Ill Mouth. Stay too long, you'd get sick. Is that why Ceridian's wards wane faster than they should? That is because she is dying. I'm sorry. Life's a journey. Death is but one step. This is almost as lovely as that ride through Hedengracht. All we're missing is the hailstones and the Russia at our heels. I'm sure we can arrange something. You do plan the best escapes. What a mess. What happened here? Men happened. War happened. A soul soul. What does he want? Destruction, bloodshed, Ceridian's head on a plate. They must have known each other once. We could help you banish him. You banishers are so arrogant. He's Ceridian's business. Guess we don't interfere. The spectres on the shore aren't moving. The marshes are well protected. Are those soldiers? That, Miss Duarte, is old Saul's army. You're young. You're dead. I meant your essence is strong for one your age. How did you come to be here? How did you come to waste your potential by being a banisher? Do you believe I'd make a better witch? Yes, I do. You'd be doing yourself and me a favor. Welcome to Ceridian's Island. There is much power here. Oh, you noticed that, did you? Like I say, welcome to Ceridian's Island. She's at home, and expecting you. Follow the path until you find a black pond near ancient ruins. I'll see you there soon enough. How does she do that? It's a trick, right? There's more to that one than tricks. The girl is gifted. What is this? Banisher rule number three. Remember Wizbeach Bog? Hi. I'll not poke this thing with a stick. I can't touch these webbings, but I won't be able to get us through. I 
I know I make everything look easy, but... Not getting through here. Got it. If you need a rest, this place is as good as any. Wasn't I always? Hanging dolls. Witches do like to be creepy. As a child, I made dolls just like those. <laughs> I bet you did. Seeker's Black Pond. I can see why they call this the Ill Mouth. What is that? Antia? No, that's not quite true. I knew who I was, it's just... I was lost, and I had nowhere to go. I had no when to go. Does that make sense? Time lays traps for the dead. It's never fair. His voice was a beacon. The light in the darkness that led me back to me. And to the world. You have a powerful connection, you two. Or will have. Or had. Possibly all three. And here he is, the other banisher. Greetings. Good day. Come, sit. It's been too long. Have we met? Of course we have. Just now, also later, decades ago. <laughs> Never mind, it's good to see you, Red McRae. I told her our story. I hope you don't mind. Such an ordeal. I'm so very sorry you have to go through it. How hard it must be for you both. I... thank you. But now you're here together, and I'm glad. 
Because you'll only be able to end this together. Why have we found so little native presence in New Eden? They have been here. But they have never settled. Wise men and women know that the region, the Maya marshes especially, are rotten. Is that why you settled here? Here, the hem is thin and frail, and the Maya rich in agitated spirits. It is also secluded and hard to find. Both excellent reasons to remain. Here, we may hide away and mend the hem. We must reclaim Antea's body, but Seeker tells us the meeting house can't be reached. The fog cannot be crossed. Seeker is right. The fog is the nightmare. The nightmare makes the fog, you mean? The fog is the nightmare. The nightmare is the fog. Each grows the other as their influence strengthens. It taints everyone all through New Eden. It clouds their minds and distorts their vision. But you have already cleared the dark woods. The work has begun. It must continue. Who are you exactly? Who is Seeker? We, Banisher, are witches. Aye, that much I knew. But why are you here? Why New Eden? Are you linked to the Nightmare's wrath? She has no grudge with us. We are caretakers. Shepherds of the dead. Keepers of the invisible. We are also scapegoats, a convenient place to put the blame for the world's ordinary evils. You brought us here. Why? You have many questions, and I have little time. I have a few breaths left yet, but yes, this is the twilight. Still... After the darkness comes the dawn. You're dying. Soon I'll be one with the trees, root and bark. But that is not why I asked you here. Dearest dears, the path ahead is yet unclear. But know this. If you are to defeat the nightmare, your hearts must be open. Open. Of course, to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. How can we defeat it? How can we even begin to match its power? You surrender. Unconditionally. To each other. When you died, dear Antea, New Eden crumbled, but some yet live. Seek them out. Help them. The Nightmare won't like that. No. You are, after all, a threat to her existence. And rightly so. She believes you cannot reach into her domain. She is wrong. There is a way. The Void. A dreadful place beneath both the Incarnate and the Invisible. When you have learned to walk the Void, you may use it to enter the Nightmare's Den. First, you must free the people of New Eden from her grip. To reach New Eden and retrieve my body, we must help the very people who created the Nightmare in the first place? Yes. Excuse my lack of enthusiasm. Can we not just go back to the meeting house and do our jobs? 
You must release folk here from her grasp. Only then, through the void, may you reach New Eden Town and confront her. How do we access the void? Is there a ritual? In places, the void is breached. Follow the beacons, do not stray, and all will be well. Our seeker crafted you a tuning key. With it, you may open the breach. Don't linger. Time is fickle. By the beach as I drowned, you sent Seeker to find me. How did you know where to look? Are you asking an old hedge witch how she knows what goes on in her own garden? The woods and rivers are full of friendly claws and feathers and scales. I always know what I need to know. I guess that's the best answer we can expect. It is the best of all those I've tried, dearest dears. The nightmare in the meeting house was by far the most powerful ghost I've ever faced. From where did it come? Unforgiving wrath is a bottomless well for vengeful spirits. But in this case, I suspect an even more vile source involved. What do you know of Deborah? Not much. I have avoided the people of New Eden for decades. I do know she was tried for witchcraft. Was she a witch? Was she one of yours? Would it matter if she was? She was no witch. She was a woman, a victim of the basest of human fears. We know the beast was linked to the nightmare. We're not so clear on how. Through the beast, the nightmare inflicted its curse upon the settlers. The beast was its avatar. I'm sure it has others. What are they, exactly? They are manifestations of her power. They may also represent her only weakness. The Nightmare's spirit was shattered by the violence that created it. Properly studied, the pieces may provide the key to lifting her curse. Would a hedge witch have something? I always... We recently came across a cursed item and thought you could help us cleanse it. Really? Why us? Well, you know, spells, curses, witches. I was teasing. How fun it is to see you squirm. There are many ways to enchant an item or dispel its curse. Seeker may be of help. Go talk to her. She likes to tease you too. Thank you, Ceridian. We'll be off. Before you leave, tell me. What did you choose? What do you mean? Each of you made a promise to the other. What was it? What did you choose? I chose to stay. Lives for a life? An expensive bargain. I made a promise. I'll pay the price. I do not judge the deal. I worry about the cost. 
The tuning key is on the table. In the void, it will protect you. Seeker waits at the pool to show you the way. Help yourself. And take all the help you need. Witchery. Feels unnatural. Dangerous. Banishing, of course, is famously safe. Funny looking spinning wheel. Do you weave with it? Of course. <laughs> I weave essence, Red McGraith. You may have time to waste, but I do not. Ceridian gave us a tuning key. Now I know how you pull your little disappearing trick. It's no trick. It's what we do to survive. Too many bastards out there want us dead. So what we saw on the other side of the island, that was a void breach? Yes. You'll be using them too. But not this one. Not yet. There's another one, a little ways off, in the back of a cave. Use that one for now. This one is special. It's the last and only way into New Eden Town since the bridge burned down. We could go back to New Eden right now? Why would you want to do that? The Nightmare is strong. She has New Eden by the proverbials. Loosen her grasp and maybe, just maybe, you can walk through that breach and live. All right, all right. We get it. You have your tuning key. Hold on to it for dear life. That shouldn't be a problem. Once through the breach, there's no turning back. Keep going and don't look back. Void walking. Can you tell me more about it? I use it to leap from one breach to another, as Ceridian taught me. I don't dally, nor should you. Why not? The void? is Terra Incognita. I suspect Ceridian knows, but isn't saying. Bad sign, that. Very bad sign. I'm curious. What do you think of the Nightmare yourself? I think the Nightmare is the child of our father's iniquities. And of our own sins, too. Do you admire it? I fear it, but I accept its wrath, as I accept the rain. <laughs> and New Eden surely deserves the flood. Tell me about yourself, Seeker. Hmm. How do I put this politely? No. So, who's Deborah? I know no Deborah. I don't think I've ever known a Deborah. We found a cursed object. An object? What object? A chest, locked and evidently cursed. A curse could mean different things, depending. What do you think happened? We found it in the wilderness. We think maybe someone bound a spirit to it for protection. Ah, I do believe you found a chest belonging to Fear God. I'm sorry, who? 
Fear God Waterbury, local holy man. Hermit, died years ago. On my wanders, I'd meet his ghost from time to time. Crazy old man. More bark than bite, though. Did he have a thing for making cursed boxes? Fear God Waterbury had a talent, and he used it to lock things away. Things he considered too dangerous to leave free. Ah, chest. How many more are there? I didn't ask and he didn't say. I know it's more than one. I guess it's a lot more than one. He had a thing for collecting trinkets and locking them up for safekeeping. Why? Fear God Waterbury believed there was something about New Eden that drew folk to the occult. He wasn't wrong. How do we get it open? Why would you want to open it? That's demonology and I'm not one for stepping in no demonology. Even if old Fear God wasn't the worst. But from what he told me, Fear God Waterbury, the man, not his ghost, kept a ritual of unbinding in his breviary. Do you have this breviary? No, but I know he can find it. He spent his last years in seclusion, deep in the dark woods. Go northeast from the hunter's camp. Keep to the east side of the trail until you can turn south. You should come to a clearing. He had a hut there. You forget things sometimes, so here. I'll write it down for you. We'll be going. Hope to talk again soon. Yes. I do so enjoy our little chats across the hem. Well, let me get this right. We are looking for a breviary belonging to a demonologist that Seeker met after his death. All this in order to learn how to cleanse malignant spirits bound to cursed objects. Remember Balthazar H. Frenhofer's teaching. Efficient, adaptive, versatile. Is this Seeker's cave? Only one way to find out. Remember what we were told. Follow the beacons. Move fast. No looking back. Huh? This place looks barren. Lifeless. This is the realm of the dead. This is the underworld. Let's not linger. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes, keep moving. What the...? 
voice going on? I know that voice from long ago. I banished its owner. What does that mean? It means we must leave now. Beacon is dead. Oh, what new abomination is this? I'd say a sorrow used as a Cerberus. That's unheard of. I'm right here, you know. No more pillars. Troubles about. Have some of this. Look out! Follow my voice. Look to me. This horror crawl. I don't know, but we need to go. Was that Ceridian's key was supposed to get us through unnoticed. I don't know. Are you all right? I'll do. But that nightmare over there, we know so little about it. That worries me. What about you? Whatever the reason, that nightmare is here because of something these men and women did. New Eden reeks of their guilt. I died because of them. Curse these people. Curse them and their secrets and their sins. We all get there. We always do. Are those breaches really safe? We were protected. You heard the whispers. The despair and that one voice. It called to you. Something knew you were there. It saw you. I thought... 
for, for a moment, I thought of them. Those poor butchered boys. I swear in the void I heard their screaming. Wains sent to die for their sultan's pride. It was like I was back in the Balkans. You're you, and you're here with me, right now. I don't feel like myself. This void, is it hell? Like in the scriptures? The scriptures? Whose scriptures? It's just a... What if all the teachings of my youth were wrong? What if what we just saw is what awaits me for my sins? I became a banisher to help the living by ending the suffering of lingering ghosts. But we don't end their pain. We condemn them to an eternity of suffering. We curse them. Rory, you are the kindest, most compassionate banisher I have ever met. Don't let an old god scare you into thinking otherwise. This void is the work of no god. What if they come back? What if the souls I blamed come for me? They'd have every right. The spirits of the living are consumed in the ritual. They're not coming back. All is well. As long as we stay together, all is well. Aye. All is well. Right. Seeker wasn't lying about the burned down bridge. Which way? North by the mountains or south through the lowlands? Let's pick one and see where it takes us. If you need a breather, we can do it here. I'd like to see the Highlands again one day. These mountains aren't they bad, but there's no Ben Nevis. Yours is a hill compared to Pico Torquino. My mountain is bigger than yours. Aye, uh, my island is bigger than yours. Call it a draw, shall we?
This one is incomplete. We need to look for somewhere to cross. This looks like the drawings on the map. According to the map, the treasure should be near. According to our map, the treasure can't be far. Mountains must be rich in all. Looks a bit rickety. It's built for a team. One man alone should be fine. Should be. Won't budge. A tangle of rope work blocks it up. Thank you. 
You can't climb, but I can get us up there. Almost there. The lift should be freed now. look fragile. Well, they hold. Would you rather climb? If it were up to me, I wouldn't be here to begin with. Can't beat the snow. My sisters and I used to have snowball fights all the time. Of course, they always had to win. What about you? I once went to Cambridge with my mentor, Nicolas Fatio de Didier, to visit his friend Isaac. Now, Mr. Newton is a great scientist, but he and Nicolas did drone on. Looking out the window, I saw... white. I went into the courtyard. Snowflakes drifted slowly down. I'd like to say I'm embarrassed to admit this, but I danced in the snow in the courtyard at Cambridge University. Oh. <laughs> 
hugging all the fun. Did you hear that? Yes. Nearby. You need it. Physical to spectral, they do that. Ask for help if you need it. These body parts screen manifest my spectre. Reveal yourself! before it possesses the corpse. Get rid of the other Spectre. Ready and waiting. You're wasting your time on this one. God, you're tougher than I got. Look to me. Here, you know. 
troubles about. Get lost, boy, dear. Heads up! something close. You did well back there. I might have to increase your pay. And your dose, did you? Don't get cocky. There's always more to learn. Key thing about a scourge? A scourge is made of many spectres merged. Not always. A harvester, for example, is a scourge born of a single spectre. A scourge will always seek a new physical body. Often made of different materials. Very poor. Perhaps you'd prefer an easier question? On the nature of a ghost, perhaps? Ghosts leech the essence from those they haunt. Sometimes by asking irritating questions. That's right. And sometimes the living backchat. Do you hear that? Over here.
A peaceful place. In different times. Before the nightmare's influence, you mean? Let's reach the fort and a fire and warm you up. Is it just me or...? I felt it too. Trouble ahead. Spectres are attacking the fort. Seek no ground! Hold fire! That fellow's not dead! Call him! Try another one. Ready and waiting. Hold there. None in, none out. Not living nor dead. Name's Red McCraith. I'm obviously a banisher. Open the door there. I've business within. Your business is, if you'll excuse my articulating the evidence, not my business. I have my orders. You can't come in. I hear you, friend. What's your name? Name's Andrew White. You seem a pleasant fellow. I like a Scot, me, but standing here, I'm on duty. And when I'm on duty, I'm not your friend. Uh, listen, mate. Folk in here have problems enough, and I can't be disobeying orders. Either Priest or Pennington would have my guts, and I fancy neither. Pennington knows me. He'll know I can help. I'm sure he does. But put one dead man down, and three come back next day. Round here, sweet victory fast turns bitter. Bottom line is... The captain is indisposed, and I'll not add your complications to the pile. Now, you want to lend a hand? Mrs. Priest and her party are overdue. You can't miss the outpost. It looks out across the valley. If you could find her, make sure she doesn't die, you'd surely gain her favor. And favor, as they say, opens doors. Get in a fight and find your boss and dig her out of whatever hole she's in. All right. I can do that. They have spectre troubles. Let's first clear the nearby nest to relieve the fort, then deal with the missing. How holds the fort? How holds the fort? Precariously, that's how. Our strength dwindles, and we'll soon run out of powder. Praise to Williams and that other fella. And off they went, scavenging for supplies. They've not yet returned. It's dangerous out there. The scavenger may easily become the carrion. Heard any good scuttle lately? The dead are coming, and you want to gossip. <laughs> I admire your sang Freud, and that's the Lord's truth. But now, sir, is not the time. Right. I'll likely be back. Find our friends, Banisher. Or put them to rest. I'll try. As soon as I take care of the Spectre's nest, I'll go looking for the outpost. Death knocks at their gates. No wonder they won't open. They don't have a choice. 
Another attack may overrun them. The nest might be near. There's a trail to follow in the snow. More coming. Come and get your friend, boys. Yeah. These pests don't spring from nowhere. Did we miss a few? should buy the fort a little time. Let's hope it's not too late for the famous Mrs. Priest.
Looks like you're walking. Looks like. I wonder how many there are in the fort. Fewer by the day, I'll wager. Still, better to be inside than out. with spectres. Did the foraging party really come this way? That would explain why they haven't returned. Nothing's concealed. This one's not been dead long. Hmm. Let's hope he stays that way. Looks like they were taken by surprise. This is locked from the other side.
If the map is correct, the treasure must be hidden nearby. I have another in sight. Think you could take on a ghost? Hurry! She's being overrun! Come on! According to our map, the treasure can't be far. The treasure has to be near. A timely arrival. You'll be Haskell's banishers. Thank you. Thank you both. You can see me. Clear as day, just as I can see. This is my husband. I am Helen Priest. And Thea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGraith. It is rare that the living can see the lingering dead. All I know is one day I woke after seven long years of grief, and my Sebastian was back. It was as if my prayers had at last been answered. That was enough for me. In times of danger, I am duty-bound to protect the woman I love. You understand? Seven years. Why come back now? It did not feel like seven years. Suddenly, 
I felt her pain calling to me. Divine intervention or otherwise, all that matters is that my dear Sebastian is back. Now, when I need him most. Andrew White sent us. He thought you might be in trouble. Plainly, you needed your guardian angel. We needed more than one. Thanks to you, we'll resupply the camp. Matthews and Williams did not die in vain. This was a risky expedition. But Helen had no choice. If the survivors were to rely on Pennington alone, the fort would have already fallen. I suspect that's so. Sometimes difficult choices must be made. That's courage. All the courage in the world will be worthless if those in command won't match it. Pennington did this while monsters relentless besieged the fort. But make no mistake, these men's deaths are on the captain's conscience. If he has one. How so? Seven years ago, a plague came to New Eden. Pennington quarantined the sick in the mines, walled them up. They were dark times. Hard times. None knew what the morrow would bring. We all lost much. Too much. As second in command, Sebastian volunteered to stay. Walled in with the others, he held out the longest. He died a hero. And now the Forsaken are rising. They demand revenge. Who would blame them? I watched them die. Soldiers and miners, sick and hungry, begging for help they knew would never come. Captain Pennington has much blood on his hands. I'm sorry. You've been through a lot. We have. We are, and will persist till we prevail. We should get back to the fort. We will escort you. I'm afraid I locked us in when I broke the latch. If there's a way out, we'll find it. Lock looks broken. I doubt that gate will ever open again. Something. That's all her. A banisher marched with my father's infantry. The morale, he said. Soldiers usually carry their ghosts with them. War is good for our business. I take it that's how you met. I know a soldier when I see him fight. I never worked for the army, but something like that. Sympathy. All of this for two miserable powder boxes. How low has Pennington brought us? If you didn't like him, why did you follow him? I followed his reputation, but he's no longer the same man. What would you do in his place? I'm doing it. He sits behind his walls waiting for them to fall, and I'm out here fighting to live. We're fighting for our lives. The captain is in the way. These internal conflicts are a risk for the stability of the fort. A necessary risk for the survival of all. But I agree. This must end. He 
you may leave the crates. I'll send someone back for them. Yeah, the path should be quiet. We cleared the area of the Spectre's nest. Well, that's all right. Follow me. Waiting for open the gates. Go talk to Pennington. Make him understand if you can. Where can I find him? He hides in his office. I'll find him there. Where are the others? Williams and the other chap? Matthews. We were ambushed. They fell. May God have mercy on their souls. There's ammo in the elevator. Send Shepard and Abbott to bring it back. Good day to you. Good day, mate. You Pennington's reinforcements. Red McCraith, the banisher. Sorry to disappoint. Nah, too bad. We could use a fellow like you. <laughs> Theodore Shepard, marksman, and there are none better. <laughs> I teach some of the lads here. Perhaps we could show you a thing or two. I shoot well enough, thinking you. Where did you learn to shoot, Mr. Shepard? In the war, mate. King Philip's war? Aye. Joined up soon as I came of age. Trotted off to war against the Indians. Shooting came natural. Once, I shot a man down from full 500 yards. How do you like that? I'm a goddamn Lionheart, I am. Tell me about your world. Which bit? How about Captain Pennington's bit of your world? Captain? <laughs> I don't know him. He keeps to himself, and I keep to mine. Tell the truth, I think he's losing it. Can't blame him, to be honest. You'd blame the curse, but he's always been a close-mouthed so-and-so. Been that way since he lost his wife and kid. Pennington's family died. I didn't say they died, though. Maybe they did. Either way, they're definitely gone, and the captain is the worst for it. Helen Priest, tell me how she fits in your world. They don't let women go to war, but for her, they should make an exception. Pity Pennington doesn't trust her far as he could throw her. I've fought side by side with many a good man. None are better than Helen Priest. How about you tell me more about yourself? <laughs> Mate, all you need to know is I'm the finest shot this side of the wide blue sea. Priest and Pennington are too busy fighting to see it. I'll be on my way. And may the way be good to you, mate. Good to see you living, sir. Keep it short, I'm on duty. How are folk doing? Fighting fit? Well, they're farmers, most of them. 
Fighting fit in my arse. But fight's not fair. That's wrong. But do not Wherefore, the paradise of New Eden, mind you. If we stop digging, we die. Had any good scuttle lately? I'll spill it if I have it. But be quick. I'm busy. We've known an officer or three, you and me. So, tell me about the captain. In nigh on 20 years' service, I've not met a commander more efficient. Nor one so relentless. Ever a pain in the ass, I. But a good one. But that was then and this is now. He's not the man he was. Still a pain in the arse, mind. What think you now of Helen Priest? Ah, well, she's like her husband. Only yet better. Command is in her blood. She reminds me of my old mum. The Queen of Topsfield Common, we used to call her. Born to give orders, she was. And you dare not disobey. Did you know Sebastian Priest? I surely did. Good man. Hell of a soldier. Had kingly ideals, but did not strut like a crow in the gutter. Hero is an ill-used tag, oft misassigned. But Lieutenant Priest was a hero, and a proper one at that. As you were, soldier. Greetings. Welcome to Ingersoll's General Store. I'm Bathsheba Ingersoll, the owner. A cool man. Very funny. I met your friend, Miss Duarte, Bree. I'm so sorry for your loss. She seemed a... And she seemed eager to leave town as... Tell me about your... The original Ingersoll's in Boston was grand and fine, but it burned in the North Spot before Natty could return home. My husband died. Then came the curse. You never wanted to do anything else. My husband was prosperous and affluent. I was young and clever. We made an excellent match. He taught me everything I know. The store is my business. My legacy. The shopkeeper must hear everything that goes on. Tell me something interesting. You assume me to be... What can you tell me about Captain Pennington? He lets me trade. I like the man. He says Ingersoll's store is good for the fort. I very much agree. What can you tell me about Helen Priest? I like her, though she's impetuous, terse even. She fancies herself a leader when she should know her place, and that place is below the captain. Thinking about it, no, I don't think I do like her. More generally, how fares Fort Jericho? Well, it's cold. Folk are hungry more often than not. I've little to tell you you won't hear from someone else. But Ingersoll's is open, so all is well with me. Shall we trade? I rather think we should. I must take and Hippany, one toppings, three and six, three florins, half a crab. Captain Bennington. No time, no way out, no hope, no way in. No time, no time at all. Captain Bennington, sir. Mr. McGrath, 
You live. There's work to be done. Work? You had work. A mission. To bring one last glimmer of hope. To gladden our hearts before the pit takes us all. You secretive bastards haven't helped. Her job is done. There's no more hope and little enough time. All that remains is the pit. Welcome to the last stand, McGrath. Welcome to the end. I wouldn't surrender just yet, Captain. I found Helen Priest. We brought supplies. A waste of effort on both accounts. Hardly. We saved a life. Resupplied, you may save more. For the sake of what? For the sake of days? A week, perhaps? You've saved no one. You've prolonged the terror. The dead will come. Our throats will feel their bony fingers soon enough. The end is inevitable. It is if you will not act. You're the officer. Take command. Surely you can't intend to do nothing. You sound like Priest. She has changed. Her return to Fort Jericho has made her impulsive, irrational, quarrelsome. I believe she did not fully grieve her husband's loss. Returning to the scene has, it seems, reopened the wound. It festers. She'll join the lieutenant soon enough. When our defences crumble at the last, the pit shall take us all. Fair to say your tactical retreat from New Eden Town has not served you. The town was doomed to fall to the curse. We disagreed on everything. There was nothing left to do but leave. We did not know there'd be no escape. No smith gathered the board and the governor let the afeard flock to him. We never agreed on anything in the first place. I crossed paths with the new smith party. Thick skin did not make it. Shame. She had a proper head on her shoulders. Without her, the band will suffer. As the commanding officer, you must know all the local lumps and bumps. The lumps and bumps can smooth themselves. I have other priorities. Why did you come to New Eden, Captain? Why here? Far from the many wars we fight, you mean? I'd shot enough Frenchmen and more than enough Indians. Did no one come with you? Keep to your business, son, not mine. It's just there's a portrait hanging on the wall. A family. I had a wife and daughter once. Once. I'll not entertain you with their story. Tell me more about yourself and your career. I did my duty and had the fortune to return alive. That's all. We who are intimate with war tell no tales. I thought that too. I was wrong. Silence allowed my ghosts to prosper. It is good to tell our stories. If ever I do tell, I'll not be telling you, son. How do things stand, Captain, as you see them? Uh, little has changed. The dead flood from the mines. We shoot them down and gain respite. Soon, the onslaught begins anew. The clock of our extinction ticks on towards the hour. We may no more defeat the dead than we may vanquish the ocean waves. Folk have little enough hope, and you're leading them further into the darkness. I've heard the whispers, the murmurs, the plotting from the shadows. We hold to the last. We resist, till retribution rises from the pit and drags us all to hell. Well, that's something worth waiting for. 
I fail to see the appeal of this slow agony. How unfortunate. Because thanks to you, and the time you bought us, the agony will be all the slower. As the... Permission to take my leave, Captain. And if I refuse it? Are you trying to recruit me, Captain? Do you really think I'd take the King's shilling? <laughs> if I were to offer enough shillings, I'm sure of it. I need no new lieutenants. But if you wish, you may stay. This key unlocks the unused watchtower. You'll bill it while you're here. On one hand, a captain beaten by the world. On the other, his rival, haunted and mutinous. In a fort besieged by vengeful spectres. I know the shit, there's something else. Something darker. Could be worse. The underground.
For years, Kate Newsmith believed she did not measure up to her sister. Now she knows that in her kindness, she is at least her sister's equal. Thick skin has paid for her sins. But what of her sister? What will Kate do now? Her people look to her for their future, their protection, their survival. Banishes, may I have a word? Helen, something wrong? Apologies for disturbing your rest. I'm afraid it can't wait. What did you think of the captain? I saw a different man from the captain we first met. His brains are cracked. I saw a liability. On that, we agree. But his sullens are an act behind which he may hide his errors. An act? I don't believe so. He's haunted, perhaps literally. It matters not. What matters is the price the people here pay for his mistakes. You are banishers. The dead, you'll have noticed, hammer at the gates. I would like you to go into the mines and find out what enrages them so. I would like you to do what the captain will not. And while we deal with the hordes of angry spectres, what shall you be doing? When the mines are purged, I'll oust Pennington. How goes it with Sebastian? I'm not sure. I had never let go of my grief. I was bereft, empty. His absence gave me substance. I clung to it, useless really. My husband died in the dark with nothing but my handkerchief to soothe his last moments. And now he's back. If each worthwhile thing in life is to be lived and then when it is gone, to be grieved, then what now? I have to believe our love is enough. Love or no, as long as Sebastian haunts you, you will never be safe. You must accept this. Sebastian haunts me. You haunt Red. What's of safety when we can love a little longer? So we fight to preserve it, fierce and true, for as long as we can. Yes. Tis a blessing and a curse, yet against all reason, we persist. Let us make the most of time remaining. Is it your belief that Pennington's quarantine lies at the heart of the problem here? That this is why the dead rage so? What else? He walled them in. Miners, nurses, soldiers, the healthy or the sick, he buried them all, and then he lied about it. I'll brook his callous cowardice no more. Much goes on around here, and you seem to know about all of it. I try, and I could do something about it if the captain was out of the way. What brought you to New Eden? I came with Sebastian, willingly, mind you. My father was a soldier. I knew there'd be travel. Sebastian courted me for three years. I swore when we married I'd follow him to the end of the earth. And here we are. How's morale about the fort? The fort has known better days. Not many, mind. It's always been mis- Folk deserve better. They fought so hard and lost so much. The captain must show them a future. Where do we go? There is a second tunnel into the mines. The entryway was walled shut during the quarantine. Getting there will not be easy, but the barricade should fall without too much difficulty. After that, who knows? Underground again. Wonderful. If it soothes you, I too am taking a significant risk. The captain has a penchant for locking people up and leaving them to rot. Some years ago in New Eden Town, the captain locked up an innocent woman. A fate I wish to avoid. We should go. Then it's agreed. When you're ready, take the hoist of the waterfall near the outpost you first found me. 
From there, it is not far to the tunnel. Keep your wits and all your luck about you. An innocent woman jailed. I mean, as wolf belts go, it's pretty. Strange. But have more than a nozzle. Doesn't strike me as a petty Both in Boston are not sure. Helen is right. Belt. The what truth do do lies this? down there, You're somewhere. Sell it. This is no coincidence. This all connects back to the curse. Not the problem. Could be more than enough wool. 